Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about 3D in logo animation. In this video I'm going to show you most useful and common techniques. After watching this video you'll be able to create attractive 3D logo animations. As usual you can find all project files linked in the description, so let's get started. Before we start, check out the composition settings. To have more control over our layers, we have to create shapes from vector layers. It is useful to label all the layers for better recognition. Also, make sure that you choose the advanced 3D option from composition settings. Click on AFL layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl, Shift and D. Then click this 3D icon and open the properties. Adjust the extrusion depth value. To 20. Then open the transform properties and put a keyframe for scale and orientation. Those keyframes will be our last position. Then move the timeline indicator to the beginning and put a scale keyframe and adjust the value around 700. Also adjust the orientation around 130. Scale and orientation properties will help us to achieve 3D rotation effect. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to ease them. Then go to the graph editor and adjust the curves similar to this one. Next bring the icon layer and cut this one as well by pressing Ctrl, Shift and D. Now let's move this layer up and click the 3D icon. Open the geometry options and adjust the extrusion depth to 20. For this layer we'll also use orientation and scale keyframe. So put two keyframes at the end. Then move the timeline indicator to the beginning and simply make our icon bigger. To achieve the 3D rotation, adjust the orientation value. Now go back to geometry options and decrease the extrusion depth amount. Then adjust the orientation z-axis around 160. Select all keyframes and press F9. Go to the graph editor and adjust the curves similar to this one. Next, adjust the orientation X value to 146. Now let's bring up the shape layers of our logo. Deselect the fill, select the stroke and draw a circle. Center it so it overlaps our stroke. Now let's bring this layer above to our blue stroke layer. Next, add the trim path effect. Put a keyframe to the end property and move it further. Bring the timeline indicator to the beginning and adjust the start keyframe to zero. Select the all keyframes and press F9 to ease them. For the faster start and deceleration towards the middle, we need to adjust graph editor curves similar to this one. From matte options, choose the animated layer. Next, select the blue shape layer and add the offset path effect. Next, open its options, adjust the amount to zero and put a keyframe. Move this keyframe further to set its last position. Now bring the timeline indicator to the beginning and adjust the value until it completely disappears. Now simply copy this offset path effect. Choose contents and simply paste it. Now apply the same steps to white stroke layers and let's move to the text animation. Now isolate the first text layer, draw a circle and bring it above our text layer. Next select contents and paste the offset path effect. Adjust the first keyframe value until our shape completely disappears. Ease the keyframe and set a matte option. Next isolate the second text layer. Select pen tool and choose stroke. Make sure it overlaps our text by adjusting the stroke thickness. Bring it above to our second text layer and add a trim path effect. Put two keyframes to end property from 0 to 100. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Now from matte options, select our animated layer. Now let's take a moment and preview the animation. Next, offset the layers in the timeline. Select these layers, right click and pre-compose the layers. Press S to access the scale properties. Put a keyframe and move it further in the timeline. Next, adjust another keyframe's value to 177 or just make it bigger. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph edit. Then add the fill effect to our pre-composed layer. Match the logo color and put a keyframe. Press U on your keyboard to rebuild all keyframes. Put a second keyframe and change the color to white. Now let's see how it looks. Next, click at any empty area and create new adjustment layer. 
then parent all layers to this adjustment layer. Now look for CC light sweep effect. Apply this effect to adjustment layer. Then move this anchor point right here to the down. Next, put a keyframe to the center properties. Move the timeline indicator further and adjust this anchor point. Lastly, ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Now let's look into more dynamic and creative approach. Select the pen tool and draw a line. Then search for the cap and from the line cap options choose the round cap. Next add a zigzag effect. Open the properties and from points choose smooth. Adjust the size to 23 and change the reach per segment value to 5. From now you probably already know. Add a trim pass effect and put two keyframes to the end property. From 0 to 100. Ease the keyframes and add another one to the start property. Move the timeline indicator further and adjust the value to 100. Ease them as well. Select all of them, press and hold alt and squeeze them with the mouse to make it a bit faster. Now let's take a time and preview it. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Move the duplicated layer to the right side. Choose the pen tool. Now click here and then right click, mask and shape path, set first vertex. Now adjust the position using your mouse. Next click on circle layer and duplicate it. Add offset path effects. Then open the properties, adjust the amount to zero and add a keyframe. Make it the last one and add another keyframe. Adjust the amount until the shape completely disappears. Press F9 and ease the keyframes. Adjust the timing in the timeline and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Next, find that offset path effect and delete it. Fix the layer timing and press P to access the position properties. First one its initial position, second one we're moving a bit down and third one moving all the way up. Now ease the keyframes and go to the graph editor. Adjust the motion curve similar to this one. Then double click the point in the middle. Check the continuous box. Now move this point slightly up. Now let's preview the animation. So let's bring up the coin layer, adjust the layer's timing on the timeline and make the layer 3D. Now make sure the render mode is advanced 3D. Press P for position properties and add a keyframe. Adjust the position of a coin in a second keyframe. Now we have a smooth morphing effect. Move the last keyframe further and ease the keyframes. And of course adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Next, add a scale keyframe for its initial position. And for the last position, scale the coin up. Ease those keyframes as well and adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Now let's see how it looks. Now let's adjust our layers 3D options. From geometry options, change the amount of extrusion depth to 5. Now from transform options, add a keyframe for orientation. Add another one and adjust the value around 180. Next, add a keyframe for X rotation. Make it its initial position. Adjust the second keyframe around 170. Next, select all keyframes and ease them. Adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Next, fix the keyframes in the timeline and let's preview it. Now let's morph it back to the circle. Duplicate the layer and bring it up. Adjust the scale until it overlaps our coin. Next, adjust the layer in the timeline and press T for opacity properties. Add two keyframes from 0 to 100. Next, press S for scale properties. Add a keyframe and make it its start position. Adjust the last keyframes amount to 112. Ease the keyframes and move them further in the timeline. Now let's bring up our original circle layer. Select our duplicated circle layer and press P for position properties. Add a start keyframe and in the second keyframe match the circle of its original position. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Let's preview it. Next, let's give this layer overshoot animation. 
for the position keyframe and move it further to make it last position. For the first keyframe, move the circle slightly down, ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Now let's see how it looks. Now let's animate the text. Select all text layers and press P, then add a keyframe to all of them, then move the timeline indicator to the middle and adjust the letters position slightly up. Now bring the indicator to the beginning and move the letters down. Now ease the keyframes and let's offset the text layers in the timeline. Lastly, find this shape in the letter Y. Put a keyframe to the path properties. Move it further and make it last position. For the start position, adjust the path of our triangle shape. Now ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Finally, our animation is ready. Next one is actually official logo animation of BBC Film. I was just watching this movie, saw the animation, and decided to recreate it. Start with making all the layers 3D. Next, add the side for letter F. Choose the color, and change it to the black from options. Now let's change the orientation keyframe back to zero. Next, choose the letter L. Adjust the orientation to see the side. Next, add the side and choose the color. Again change the color to the black and fix the orientation keyframe back to the zero. Next from geometry options increase the depth amount. Also increase the depth amount of letter L but make it shorter than the letter F. Then create a null object, make it 3D and parent all the layers to it. Put keyframes for orientation, X rotation and Z rotation. Make them the last position. Now move the timeline indicator back to the beginning and adjust those keyframes to find desirable angle. Now select the keyframes, ease them. Now go back to the letter F, press P for position properties and put a keyframe. Make this keyframe the last one. Then adjust the start keyframe, move the letter F up and let's repeat the process for letter L. Next press U to reveal the old keyframes and match the keyframes. Then add the position keyframes to the letters B and C, adjust the start position value. That is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Also check the other videos on my channel. I'll see you in the next one.